Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a battery monitor from EnjoyBot. Alright, here's what you get when you open it up. You have your user's manual. You have a 6 meter shielded wire. This wire will go from the actual shunt to the battery monitor screen. And then under here you have the actual battery monitor screen and the shunt right here. It's a 500 amp variety. You have the positive cable that actually powers the shunt. And then you have some mounting screws. All right, and to be completely honest with you, when I first thought of using a shunt for my uh, off-grid system, I was kind of hesitant because I was like, that just seems kind of complicated. But these aren't complicated at all. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how to take a battery, put a shunt in that system between your battery and your, uh, your off-grid inverter, and to set it up and make sure that it works properly. All right, here is your simple setup for a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery and a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Uh, first, we're gonna have our positive cable, which will have a, uh, a fuse connected to it. And then on the negative side, we're gonna have our shunt. Now you can see on this shunt, it does say B negative and P negative. Now what that stands for, the negative stands for the negative, the negative side. So you're gonna be connecting this to your negative connections. And the B stands for battery. Battery is what the, the wire going from your battery to this section of the shunt, that's where it's connected. And then the P stands for power. And that means anything that you're powering, like this inverter, or if you have an, uh, a solar charge controller, that would be bringing power in. It would also be connected to this side over here. Now, the good thing about this shunt is that if you actually had it in reverse, so you had the battery connected to the P negative, once you got it all connected and turned on your monitor, the monitor screen would start flashing. And that means that this is, uh, the polarity is reversed. So all you would need to do is disconnect the power uh, and reverse the connections so they are correct. And then this screen will actually just light up and stay a constant brightness. Another thing on this shunt is this green section and that is, it says B plus B plus. What that is, is this little red wire right here. You'll be connecting the B plus from here to the positive of your battery and that will power the shunt. And then this white little five pin connector is what this six meter shielded cable is gonna connect to and it will also connect to the back of your monitor right here, which will power the monitor. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this shunt up from the battery to the inverter, and then we'll go from there. And also when you're connecting your wires to your shunt, make sure that you connect your wire first, then connect your washer, then connect your lock washer, and then finally the nut. Now that we have our negative connections all connected, we're going to be taking this positive wire and connecting it from this little green area, this little B positive, to the positive side of the battery, along with the positive side that goes to the inverter. All right, we now have our positive cable going from the B positive to the positive of the battery that is actually along with the positive going to the inverter. Now, when you connect it to your battery, you want to make sure that Whichever conductor is going to have more amperage going through it is on the very bottom. So this one is this wire, then this wire, and then everything's bolted down. The next thing we need to do is actually connect the monitor to the shunt. And that will be used with this 6 meter wire right here. Plugs in right here. And it only plugs in one way, so there's no way of accidentally turning it around. And then the other side plugs into the bottom of the monitor. And you can see that your monitor turns right on. Okay, and now in preparing this whole setup, I went ahead and charged this battery all the way up to 100%. So I know that this, this monitor should say 100%. And it's really easy to set that to 100% on this monitor. All you have to do is hit the up arrow and just hold it down. 
and there it is. It sets it from zero and now it's at 100%. So as long as you know you charge this to 100%, this is ready to go. All right, some other features about this monitor. If you want to turn on the backlight, all you got to do is hold this top button. There we go. And it shows it's set to eight. If you don't like how bright that is, you can actually make it go down by using the down arrow or up using the up arrow. And it goes from one to eight. You can also, if, if, you, uh, if your battery is completely dead, you can always set this to zero just by holding down the down arrow. And it sets the amp hours and the percentage to zero. But we don't want that because we know this battery is at 100%. So we held down the up arrow and it sets it to 100. All right, and now that this is all wired up, we can go ahead and turn on our inverter. The unit lights up. You can see that the inverter just by itself is using 6.45 watts. We'll go ahead and plug in an AC device. I just plugged in a fan and now that you, you can see that we're now using right around 97 watts. And it shows that this battery is still at 100% and it's at 99 amp hours. But what's nice is as this goes down, you'll be able to see, it's almost like, it's almost like looking at a fuel tank. You can see exactly how much energy your battery has left by having a shunt like this. So that's what makes these so important. If you have any questions about the EnjoyBot 500 amp battery monitor, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this item in my description just in case you want to look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.